Addict, Volume 2, Entry 1, found this old tape recorder in the mess I call my boot. I mostly use it for shopping lists, but this has got to be a better use for it. Motorfest have sent me on a mission. It's all part of the new off-roading adventure. Here's the plan. I'm going on a solo trip around the island to find the best trails this land can provide. Oh my gosh, I'm buzzing! I'm currently moving along the leeward coast east of the volcano. The view is bonkers. I can see all the way to the ocean. This route, though, it's a real quagmire. suggest Motorfest uses that Falcon SSV. I really liked it last time. It's sturdy but agile, perfect for adventurers getting ready for their first battle. downhill turn there anyone listening you better be careful if you want to finish in one piece right got a great first route all set so that's me done for today I need a place for the night and this beach will do nicely it's looking like it'll get cold tonight maybe I'll have a look in these wrecks for an old bottle of something to keep me warm if I get lucky said they had to be on land, so down the river we go! I'm riding the current like a Pacific salmon! Blimey! Got a couple of them fish stuck on my back seat! Hang on, guys! on the back seat have made the supreme sacrifice. I completely forgot to throw them back in the water. Oh, this is heartbreaking. That path is magnificent, though. It's got everything off-roading addicts crave. I mean, just look at these caves. Aren't they just the dog's bollocks? The festival people are going to need a proper all-rounder to handle this brilliant path. Well, that's decided. I'm giving away my own trusty old Defender for that race. It's a little banged up, but it's the most reliable machine there is and a great companion. I can see on my map there's a passage up north. Looks like an easy downhill straight away. Perfect way to avoid a detour. Oh, I 
take back what I said. Bagger! Seems like all the off-road tracks on this island lead to beaches! Well, I suppose that's what you'd expect on an island, and it's actually perfect for our next path. Lost half my ruddy supplies in the river, but I still have the fish. You didn't die for nothing, lads. Pursuit of the best trails has led me to the North Shore. Motorfest wants a crazy race with all the trimmings. Once again, I'm going to give them their money's worth. Wild, rocky beaches are a real challenge. There's no single right path. Adventurers have to use their instincts and find the optimal way to exploit the terrain. with softer suspension than my old Defender right now. Back on white sand. The terrain should get less rocky from now on. June's in sight. It's gonna be bumpy. Now that's hairy ground, if ever I saw it. A resort! Civilization! Don't mind me, friends. I'm just passing through. Enjoy your virgin pina coladas. Oh, I made a right mess of their garden. No. Oh. They'll just send a bill to Motorfest. So, let's talk vehicles. What can I recommend here? It's gotta be an official Rally Raid Survivor, a car with real guts, something French, maybe. They do make some nice machines across the channel. How about the Peugeot 3008 DKR? Sturdy, V6 by turbo, dynamic. P.S. you old devil, you've done it again. That's the perfect choice. There you go then. Everything's figured out. This trek is gonna leave you gobsmacked.
o'clock, entry four. As I speak, the weather's rainy as hell. Reminds me of good old Berkshire. Her Laywood's fields are as muddy as can be. I'm looking for hidden waterfalls. Hopefully, they'll be like a small oasis for the Festival of Adventurers halfway through this intense championship. rugged four-wheel drive underpinnings is a good option for this kind of terrain. Wait, it doesn't have a roof though. According to my map, I need to go... Yes, that's it, towards Wania Mountains. Turn for the worse. It's like a blimmin' monsoon here. Can't see a bloody thing. Ah, oh, here they are. I finally found these waterfalls. Got to say, I was expecting something bigger. Now going through a series of curves on a downhill slope. It's a slippery ride, but my old defender is holding up well. I spoke too soon, I'm stuck. Come on, you old wreck. Show me what your V8 is made of. Had to throw some weight overboard, but I'm finally out of this mess. Hopefully the compact Rubicon should hold better in the same conditions. Whoa, I'm finally through. Got to find a dry spot to make camp for the night. This rain is a real pain in the backside. supplies got stolen by some wild animal last night. I cannot believe this. On the bright side, the rain has eased off and the dirt roads are much more passable now. I'm currently going down the hill. A nice fun ride in the morning with some fun and easy turns. I'll be reaching the wide expanse of Central pretty soon. I should get a whole different topology down there. Let's see how it looks. Here I am. I was right. Wide open countryside tracks. 
guaranteed fun. Reminds me of riding motocross in the West Barks fields as a young lad with my cousins. Great stuff! Well, this is what it's going to be then. A nice open mud playground for some fellow bike lovers to ride to their heart's content. Now, what kind of bike could they give the adventurers? I remember a superb customized KTM in the garage of the festival PR. I didn't quite catch her name. Mula? Honestly, head like a sieve. Well, anyway, she had a hell of a bike. A 450 EXC. Probably the best power-to-weight ratio four-stroke I've ever seen. I got you. Don't know why that's sending me loopy. I've got to be careful. I haven't eaten in a while and Mother Nature might be starting to mess with my mind. <laughs> Gotta take a break. It's gonna be a long night and I can feel my energy running dangerously low. Country am I in? 
I'm losing it! Pierce's log final entry. If anyone's listening, these are probably my last words. I'm nearing starvation here. Might be about to embark on my last journey. It's okay. I've lived a full life. A beautiful adventure. Oh! A Turkish delight! I've just found a massive stash of sweets under the passenger seat. All right, I'm back and feeling more alive than ever. Must be this sugar rush. Let's finish this. All I need now is to come up with a car suggestion. Weird visions I had back there. Gladiators in the skies. Silly me. Eureka! The Jeep Gladiator. That's the one. It was here all along. The Jeep as the fighter, the wilderness for its arena. Tell me, listeners, are you not entertained? Number seven. What a great night! See? That's what I like about these wild escapades. You never know what's gonna happen. Anyway, I'm ready to move on. I'm currently driving on the edge of the mountains, and I think this is a route that calls for a bike. Let's see what happens if I keep following the ridge. Well, that's settled. This is going to be a bike event. I reckon they should stick with the KTM 450 here. The Austrian queen of the Enduro Kingdom. With its original competition look this time. Those guys know a thing or two about uneven terrain. I can see the Motorfest grounds from here. Glorious! take a little bathroom break before carrying on and I happen to notice something a little peculiar bear prints all over the trail here in the supposedly bear free Hawaiian wilderness bloody mystery but no time for that kind of monkey business I've got an event to wrap up oh yeah that section is definitely going to be part of the show More bear tracks! That's starting to play on my mind, to be honest. The presence of a bear here is theoretically impossible, but... I don't know. There could be some mighty nature force at work here. As someone once said, life finds a way. All right, Pierce, focus. Here comes a bit of a cliff. My suspension felt that one for sure. Okay, that 
That path is complete. Those bear tracks are still bothering me, though, listeners. Pierce, old boy, you'd better watch your back. I managed to get. The big furry thing escaped from the Honolulu Zoo. He's tracked me all the way to the volcano. That Paddington's after me. I'm gonna climb to the top. You want a piece of me, Teddy B? Come and get me up there. Machine is in dire straits. Come on, buddy, don't let me down. The beast is right behind me. He's managed to follow me up here. Damn it, he's pressuring me. Going back down at full speed, no choice. All right, try to catch me now, you fat bastard. My car almost ended up on its roof. To anybody listening, use a proper sturdy machine for this ride. Like a Hummer, or maybe a bloody tank. What the hell? This animal's not giving up. Maybe some sharp zigs and zags will catch him off guard. Wait for it. Sharp left! Now, to the right. That's it, I think I'm safe. Who's laughing now, bear boy? But this, God damn, I can't believe it! He's back! We've got a lot in common, actually. 
Anyway, we chatted over a fish supper, then went our separate ways. Via con Dios, my runaway friend. Live free, I say. Alright, back to work. Our very last trail. I started way up in the mountains, and I'm currently going wild on the descent. This will undoubtedly call for a fast yet versatile vehicle. is the Audi S1 EKS RX Quattro, a 600 HP four-wheel drive. A car that goes like the blazes, but still thrives in the tightest of curves. My word, this is going to be spectacular. get to enjoy a final glimpse of that beautiful Hawaiian jungle. Gorgeous! That's it! Got all I need for Volume 2 now. Time for a well-deserved break. Maybe I'll go to the cinema tonight. I hope I ride is still showing. Wow, what a bloody journey. We're through, listeners. Until our next adventure, peace out. Challenges unlocked.